Hello folks, it's Barry here. Uh, I'm in London today. This is Bart from Bart's Fishtails. We are in the Food Tube kitchen, right? Great. And Bart yeah. has come specially over from the Netherlands, particularly Amsterdam, right? And today we're doing a fish, an unusual fish taste test, right? Yeah, yeah. because I'm traveling the world uh, to find the most authentic fisheries and fishermen. Um, and I know you're not a fully seafood virgin anymore. No. But hopefully this today, um, yeah. If you're, un if you're after unusual fish, you've come to the right place. Yes, that's Intentional correct. Intentional fish pun. So I brought four different ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to start with this typically Dutch thing, which is raw herring. A raw herring. A raw herring. It's not, well, it's, it's, it has been frozen at sea. Okay. You need to do it because there is a small risk of parasites. Um, but you eat <laughs> That's really sure. Parasites? Just the risk of parasites. No, you said it right. I just yeah. generally scared. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> typically Dutch, we eat them as a whole. A r the whole thing the straight whole down? The whole thing straight down. Okay. So this is number one, yeah. Dutch herring. <laughs> it's quite slippy. I might and put well, the plate down. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good idea because yeah. I also have um, some onions. And the reason we serve onions with it in Amsterdam yeah. is traditionally the fish came from the coast. Yes. And because it took like a few hours, they covered the bad taste with the onion. Ah. So at the coast, they won't eat herring with onion. Okay. But off coast, they will eat it with onion. So, so if I don't like this, so I can just eat a bowl of onions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there we go. Uh, we do bites. Yeah. Do we bite it at all? Okay. No, we, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. 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 I like that. You like it? Mmm. It's cold. You can tell it's coming straight from the sea. Mm. I can't taste any parasites, which is a good thing. Mm. It's soft and it's tender. Good, eh? mm. People often are scared because of raw fish. But if it's raw, you, real, you taste a real, real thing of the, well, the sea, the yeah. siltiness. It's like a depth of flavour. No. Mm. Mm. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to bite it or if I had to take the whole <laughs> thing in one, but I'm glad that we could... Mm. That's a good start. I am ready for the second item on the fish platter of this tapas journey. Uh, what For number have? two, we yep. have had the herring, mm -hmm. you liked it. Yeah, it was and nice. And I'm quite curious what you think of this. This is cod liver. Cod liver? Cod liver. So you like the cod liver oil tablets you get? <coughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's so healthy. It's, it, yeah. This is what, what people were eating uh, during the Second World War or afterwards in the Netherlands because it gave you so much like uh, omega-3s like yeah. and, and, and it's full of... But this is a liver. Kind of so this I'm, I'm eating an organ and being, I'm being oh, a yeah. cannibal. Yeah, yeah, you are, you are. And it doesn't look really tasty. No, 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 no. But it, yeah, mm. I have my opinion. I'm curious what you think of it. Okay. Ah. Mm. <laughs> okay. So well. that's liver. So, but the liver has this, so why don't you like it? Um, well, I really wanted to spit it out, but it just dissolved in my mouth. <laughs> um, it just kind of tastes like M muddy or like, muddy. Or like dirty, and dirty is, fish. Yeah, so <laughs> I give you one more piece, or you take oh, one please. more, this is my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> going to like. And now I'm going to add something, because this is what I like about uh, like food, is mm. that you can combine all these flavors. I just add a tiny bit of orange juice. Oh, okay. One moment. And I'm an going orange. to add <laughs> ah. some salt. Okay. Salt, pepper, orange juice, and liver. <laughs> and it's the orange juice, which is sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's... Oh, yeah. Gives a bit of freshness to the mm. liver, right? Mm. It's just all like depth of flavor, and yeah, you've got a little bit of the, you know, the citrus from the orange, and then the, the salt and the seasoning is just really... the structure really becomes different. Mm. It's like Good. a completely different thing. I suddenly feel like I can do liver. Good. Which I hate liver normally, so, <laughs> okay, that's a pass. Oh, well, I'm happy, yeah, I'm yeah, happy, yeah. that's a pass, good. Um, so mm. now we're going to start cooking, we're going to number three, mm -hmm. which are, so we had the cod liver, yes, which comes from here in the cod, yeah, and we yeah. have all the beautiful fillets and the loins, right? but now we go for the cheeks. I didn't know this fish had Delicious. cheeks. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So these are, so normally they would be like in here. Okay. <laughs> Had the cod. So it's on the big fish, though, a cod, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. if you have a big fish, then you have a big cheek. And this is, this yeah, is coming yeah, yeah. out of a huge cod. Wow. All coming from Iceland. Yeah. Because all seafood, I'm 
looking for needs to be sustainable. Yep. And the Icelandic fisheries are really sustainable. So actually three of these species are coming out of Iceland. Okay. Um, but with the cheeks, I'm going to pen fry them quickly. Oh, nice. Okay. The, to me, they do look a little bit like frog's legs. Um, I've had frog's legs raw before and the, the, the texture. Yeah, the texture, and the, the color. Look, they look yeah, yeah. Like frog's legs. Except so, the two uh, legs. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> and it's from the cheek of the fish. I'm, I'm quite excited about these. I'm looking forward to it. I'd never, I didn't know that a fish had cheeks. So what I always do with fish, so I start on a high heat because you want to have this crispy layer. Yeah, yeah, nice. And yeah. then we turn the heat down so you have it still tender, juicy in the, from the inside. Gonna go with a spoon and just yeah. pick one out. Yeah. Oh, it's really crispy the outside. I can it's see nice, it from here already. Mm. Wow, that is so good. Guys, you need to ask your fishmonger if he sells cod, he yeah. will sell cheeks. I was about to ask that. How could you actually get hold of cheeks? And uh, are they sell in the UK? Yeah, maybe or? there is no demand for it, so mm. I'm not sure what's going, what's happening with it. But well, wow. as you can taste, it's, oh, it's like velvet. Is you the, see yeah, all these beautiful, it's juicy, tender inside. It's like a, you see the firm structure. Yeah, I mean, it still tastes like cod, but like it's a lot firmer and juicier, and it feels like. You actually pay more for that than yeah, cod, I would. The flavours are better, yeah. to be honest. Good. Mm. Wow. I think we've got a bit of a corker for the last one. Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Pièce de résistance for today. Um, and it's, it's lovely. They're just lovely creatures. They, they yeah. live in rocky surroundings. Yeah. They and they're normally quite spiky, right? They're yeah, out. they're really spiky. And this is to, to walk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but also to protect themselves. Okay. Well, not this time. I'm going to have a little feel. Yeah, they're very... Yeah. It's spiky still, I'm firm. You can like scrub your dishes in the washing up with it. <laughs> it feels so like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and you shouldn't hold it too firm because then it will maybe hurt your, your hand. What you, yeah. So what, you, what people love them for is their roll, which okay. is, well, I show, I'm going to show you. And you can use the roll in mayonnaise and sauces, or okay. with your pasta like the Italians do. So you're tipping your scissors here in the middle. Oh. And yeah. now you cut towards the side. Well, it sounds like card. <laughs> And then, okay, so how do you say? You make a circle, you, yeah. you yeah. Um, cut it around. Cut it around, yeah. Cut it around. Oh, there's a bit of, I do it in wow. my hand. A bit of authentic seawater in there. Or yeah. <laughs> and there we go. And you take off. Take wow. Out the liquid. <laughs> and this is where. I was not expecting it to look like that. So this is the row. It's beautiful. Really? Yeah? It's where people like I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Some things like taste better than they look, right? <laughs> yeah, no, true. It looks like toenails. Yeah, so now it's your <laughs> turn. <laughs> okay. Now it's your turn. Bro. So we uh, go in. You go Through in. You hold bit. it like this. Okay. Yeah. So in here. So, yeah. Not too deep. And okay. then you move your scissors to the side. Okay. And you make a nice, beautiful circle. Oh, I feel like we're doing like a... Like a how craft, uh, arts and crafts <laughs> channel. <laughs> okay. And it, it's really the season right now. So now we're in January, February, March. Yeah. It's amazing. If you go to the Mediterranean coast, you see in all these restaurants, um, they have the sea urchin on the menu. So we pour the water out, yeah? Yeah. So it's, it's like a delicacy, would you say? Or? Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I give you just a tiny bit of the rest. Okay. And there we go. Pièce de résistance, sea urchin roe. Hmm. Oh, oh wow. It's a bit earthy, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's good. There's a real sweetness in there. That's what I liked about it. But if I would have blindfolded you and you taste this, would you taste this as a seafood product? It's it's it salty. Doesn't. Yeah, but it doesn't. I don't feel as, as much salt as some of the other ones. I, I definitely get a sweetness in there. And it's, it's totally different from all. Yeah. In texture, especially. Yeah. Surprisingly, uh, yet again, one of the things that you look at and you think, I don't like it, it tastes good. So that's good, is yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Considering the, like, the autopsy we did opening it up and getting to it, it was actually worth it. So uh, thanks, Bart, for this. Uh, if you welcome. check out Bart's channel now, uh, we're just about, we haven't made it yet, but we're just about to make a salmon carpaccio. Mm. And that involves a bit of bashing. So uh, click on Bart right now to check that video out and subscribe to his channel. And we'll see you again next time. So cheers, Bart. See you again. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>